The American flag flies at a school in the Avon Grove School District. Yes. 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 But some teachers working for that school system believe the freedoms that our flag stands for are being violated. Because uh, people do need a choice. That's what, you know, originally our Constitution was founded on, that you would have the free choice to be in a group or not, and this has taken that away. This fall, these teachers were forced to pay fees to the teachers' union, even though they've chosen not to belong for years. Matt Easton has been approached a number of times about joining the union, starting 17 years ago when he was a new teacher. I thought I had to join the union, uh, and it wasn't until uh, I asked some questions and researched that I found I didn't have to join. Matt's beliefs and political views are in direct contrast with the positions that the teachers' union takes. He wants no part of the union, and he certainly doesn't want to be forced to give them a piece of his paycheck. The Pennsylvania State Education Association paid for this ad last fall supporting Barack Obama. State law does bar the union from using fees charged to a non-member from being spent on politics. And member union dues can't be contributed directly to candidates, but dues can be spent on political ads, issue campaigns, and lobbying at the Capitol. PSEA alone spent a whopping $3.3 million that way in the last election. I, I just politically don't agree, and I don't feel that's something I should have to be supporting. Teacher Donna Gordon doesn't want to have to pay these union fees because she thinks the union supports mediocrity in schools and also costs the taxpayer a lot of money. I have been in three schools where I saw the union defend people that behaved unprofessionally at great expense to the school district and they won and those people remained. Gordon says the children are worse off as a result and she refuses to join the union. Yet she will still be forced to pay fair share fees for union negotiations out of her paycheck. You get power! Who's got the power? And it isn't only the teachers union that under Pennsylvania law can force public employees to pay. This rap song on YouTube is called F the UFCW the United Food and Commercial Workers Union. When I get paid, you take your money. Where I come from, that ain't funny, sunny. I call it stealing. You call it union tools, but I'm asking what to the union do. The UFCW is the same union that represents Pennsylvania's government wine and spirits store employees. They're also required to get a union paycheck deduction, even if they don't want to join. Union President Wendell Young IV says up to a million in union dollars was spent on ads to fight liquor privatization. The first ad took a political approach, attacking Governor Corbett. Tell your state senator to say no to Governor Corbett's radical liquor privatization scheme. Young circle of union activists have shouted down business groups holding a news conference for liquor privatization. The union leader disrespectfully speaks of House Majority Leader Mike Terzai's support for privatization. Now, if the House leader would, um, you know, uh, as we would say, strap a set on and call hearings and be willing to answer the hard questions. Should state employees be forced to have deductions taken from their paycheck if they don't agree with public unions' politics, tactics, and the compensation of union leaders? Should the UFCW union chief make a salary nine times that of the average union employee? State records show approximately $1.2 million a year in dues are deducted from state wine and spirits employees, and that flows into the UFCW's pockets. And should the state be doing the union's work by administering the deductions for dues, fees, and even political PAC deductions? The teachers don't think so. I feel very much like my own personal rights have been um, invaded, and I am uh, very upset about that. This report is produced by the National Federation of Independent Business in Pennsylvania, where members voluntarily pay dues to belong to our association. We believe automatic dues deductions collected by state government should be eliminated.